Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is Capriel Nessa with another video. Today is going to be about a review on what I found so luckily at Walgreens. And it is going to be a new thing that's coming out I believe next month in January. There are 13 shades I believe and I believe I only got 12 in the I only got 12 of those shades and they are really really extremely great quality lipsticks from the drugstore that I've ever 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 purchased and I am talking about the wet and wild what is it mega last liquid catsuit matte lipsticks and these are so bomb y'all like I've gotten so many compliments on these particular uh, lipsticks so yeah so I am going to be doing lip swatches for you guys and after that I will be giving you guys a full review on what I thought about the products what was my favorites and stay tuned Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that lip swatch. Boy, was that hard work. My lips feel so raw right now. And um, I just put on one of the cuter colors that I really, really love. Look at my makeup wipes, you guys. Like, this is ridiculous. You're definitely going to need some makeup wipes to remove these particular products because, boy, you can eat in them, you can sleep in them. Baby, they will never budge. 
like literally. Now, I will say by the end of the night, like you wore it for a very, very long time, it's gonna like start to like fade off a little bit, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I feel like with any product makeup, really, it'll really like fade off eventually. Um, after it's long wear. I'm not saying that this will last an entire day until the next day. No. Um, like, just as long as you wear your makeup, it'll last the right amount of time to wear with whatever look you're trying to do. Now, um, I will say that my um, less favorites are the flame of the game. I'm not much of an orange person. Never has been. Um, let me see. Goth Topic is another one. I don't, I'm not too, too much of a fan of the dark side, but I would use it as like an outer line to do like some sort of ombre look. So um, these are also great other choices um, to choose from. Um, now, um, I would say my least favorite also is the pink really hard is too pinky for my liking too pinky ashy it makes me look weird <laughs> it throws my skin tone off so I just leave that one alone now if I can come up with a great combo with this one then that will be great but in the meantime that's just not my color other than that I love all the other colors they fit really nicely um, up against my skin tone. I don't know if you're more so closer to my skin tone or you're just trying to figure out the different types of lipsticks that they have available. My top favorites are Give Me Mocha, which is this one right here. This bad boy, I believe, will be like top number one seller in this particular line. Also, the Missy and Fierce, that's the red one. Boy, this one shows up so strawberry red. I've gotten so many, many compliments on wearing this one. And it's like no other red lipstick that I've ever had. And if you, let's just say, if you didn't know any better, you would swear this was one of the prestige items uh, on the market. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, also, um, I'm going to say... Those really are the top two um, that I really, really love out of like all of them the most. Um, the other ones are really great colors. Um, I'm not much of a huge fan of like hot pinks like this. I really thought it was a really cute pop of color that I can add into my life. Um, this particular video vixen is pretty dark on the dark side, but I can roll with it. It's not too overbearing and must I say the texture of the particular lipsticks are very moussey and they are um, they're not sticky like most of them I know I have the uh, NYX cosmetics liquid lipsticks in the lingerie line and sometimes they can get pretty like like sticky this one does it is pure matte I'm telling you guys it feels like absolutely nothing like like it doesn't feel like chapstick. It doesn't feel like, like, it's just there. It's just more so like a, a lip stain feel. It's not really like super, super, super moisturizing. And it's not super, super dry, unbearable either. But it's comfortable. It's very comfortable to wear. I will say these uh, containers that they are in, a lot of people say that they are comparable to the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks and because they have the clear uh, applicator, you see that? It has the clear applicator there and um, when you twist it, the top in, it has a lock in there just like the Jeffree Star ones. Um, the wear of this is so amazing and the one that I'm wearing right now is the very recognized this is so gorgeous perfect for fall time anytime really I feel but this is so me and I love it um, I'm glad I got that particular color but I just um, happen to get all these I think I'm missing the nudie patootie that's the only color that I'm missing but I'm kind of glad that I didn't get that one because I think I would look a little scary and ashy looking um, so I'm glad I didn't choose that 
So um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys and you guys can pop right on into that Walgreens because a lot of Walgreens only really carry this. I don't think CVS carries it just yet, but I think it will be released in January of 2017. So um, if you're lucky enough, these things are getting away quick and fast. So if you want to go try it out, be my guest. And I will talk to you guys later. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button. I know you see it. I'll wait. I'll wait. It is far too long. I know you've been creeping on this channel for way too long. It is time to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later on another note. See you guys later. Bye.